Before I start this video I want to thank you for watching. Please don't forget to share it with your friends. And with that being said. As our most advanced players will remember we promised to release two new units in the fairy chapter. And until today nothing has happened. Yeah, now that you mention it, I almost forgot about them. What the heck went wrong? Actually, quite a lot. While implementing the new units, we ran into several technical and balancing related problems. But why am I telling you this? Aren't you the balancer and I'm the artist? You just want to make me the bearer of bad news. Okay, so we basically found out that the current battle is very hard to enhance. Adding new content got more and more problematic. But now... But now? We decided to rebalance and restructure it. To be able to offer new content faster and easier. And we are finally there. So Timon, what will be changed? Actually, quite a lot. Hey, you stole my quote. It's so much that we had to split the changes into three packages. A big one at the start and two smaller ones. Yes, yes, tell me what's in there. With the release of the first package, we will change the balancing of all units. Their costs, values, their battle strategies, also enemy attributes. And, in turn, we have to adjust the training speed of the barracks, the effect of the armories, and of course, also the effect of related ancient wonders to ensure they are at least as powerful as before. Sounds like you are changing everything. Everything, yes. And some technologies, like squad size upgrades will be more powerful and some units will be accessible earlier. Powerful and faster is always better. But it sounds like it would be good to prepare for all the changes. Any tips? Yeah, don't store too many troops. They will be cheaper to produce afterwards anyway. But otherwise, you should be fine. But I have to change my battle strategy after the changes, right? Indeed. We will use a new, easy to understand system where every unit type, for instance light melee units or mages, are good or bad against other unit types. One example. The Axe Barbarian and the Sword Dancer, both light melee units, will from now on be a very good choice against all light ranged units, like the Archer and the Crossbowman, and a bad choice against heavy melee units, like the Paladin and the Treant. Once you've got the system, it's very easy to use. The challenge comes with the enemy combinations you have to face. Graphics! Finally a system that I can understand by looking at a picture. You know how to make an artist happy. And that's just the first package. The second, which will follow soon after, will give Elven players access to the Cerberus, right now a human exclusive. And the humans on the other side will get a new unit, their first heavy ranged unit, the Mortar. New units for everyone! To be honest, as an Elven player I always was jealous of the human players and their Cerberuses. But the best part comes now. Okay, you can tell them. In the third package, we will release the promise to the fairy units. And that's not all. We will also add a new orc unit in the orc chapter, so plenty of new units to try out in battle. For me, actually, the best thing about all these changes is that from now on, we will be able to release interesting new battle content on a regular basis. There's much more to come, and I hope you are looking forward to it as much as I do. Elvener stays Elvener, and fighting will always stay optional. I highly recommend to check out the forums. We are currently posting regularly about the battle changes. So you can find a lot more details, including release dates, about everything there. 